Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this free motion quilting project video about Express Your Love, a goddess quilt we're working on through 2013. Today, I'm going to teach you how to stitch words on your quilt in free motion. And there's some very powerful words I'd like to share with you today. The first step, of course, is marking the words on your quilt surface. And for this, I'm using a sew line marking pencil with some white ceramic lead inside of it. Now, an alternative pencil that works really just the exact same way is the Fonz and Porter ceramic pencil. Both of these really work exchangeably. I'm having, happening to use the sew line today. Um, and the really nice thing about this marking pencil is that you can mark anything and then erase it. You want to just use the eraser at the end of the pencil or brush it off with your hand. So let me show you how this works. So here you can see I've written the word heart and this is actually an entire phrase. Um, I have an open and willing heart. And really I want to clean this up a little bit. I think this T over here could be just a little bit better. Uh, so all you do is just erase it or brush it off with your hand and then redraw it. And I want you to see how I'm filling the space within this area completely with these letters. Uh, and I really want them to be very big and very blocky because then they'll stand out really, really nicely. And this is actually the first step to a foundational design that I call graffiti art. It's basically you stitch the letters really nice and bold and then use that as the foundation and just go around and echo them. Well, we're going to do this in two steps. The first step, we're going to stitch the letters. The second step is we're going to change thread color and do the echoing. But we're going to learn that on another day. So first, let's just learn how to stitch these letters. So I'm going to move the quilt around where it's in a good location to get started. And with the letters, I change and break thread. I break thread with every single word. So uh, between the words, I'm going to break thread. Uh, between the letters, I'm going to try and connect them. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just not possible to connect the letters without looking kind of funny. Um, these aren't cursive letters. Cursive is a lot easier to connect. Uh, but it's a little bit more tricky to read on your quilt, simply because cursive is a little bit more tricky to read in general. And I wanted this to be very obvious. Now as for the words that I'm stitching on this quilt first, I'm stitching two phrases into this section. The phrase, I am enough, and the phrase, I have an open and willing heart. And these are kind of my two mantras for the year. Uh, I am enough, um, really, I am good enough, I am pretty enough, I am smart enough, I deserve my life. Uh, that phrase comes from the I am, I am Enough initiative, which is an online blogging project connecting women and men uh, all over the internet. Lots of yogis <laughs> involved with that. And it is an awesome initiative for helping people understand that you really are enough exactly as you are. And that is such a powerful phrase to me that I'm so glad to be sharing it with you today. And today, while journaling, I was writing about this and writing about um, making this video and what I wanted to share and how I wanted to feel when it was done. And for some reason, the words, I have an open and willing heart, uh, ended up on my page. And I like that so much, I've decided to include it in the quilt as well. So now let's learn how to stitch these in free motion. To get started, I'm going to drop my needle down into the machine and pull it up right on that letter I. The really neat thing about stitching letters like this is that it forces you to repeat that phrase many, many times. Uh, you just can't help it because you're drawing and writing, you're quilting and writing at the same time. Um, and I think that somehow adds power to it. So now I'm going to get started and you can see that I'm doing a little bit more than just free motion quilting. I'm really free motion thread painting. I'm going back and forth multiple times over that letter to try and build it up quite a bit. I really want it to stand out nicely. Now the only thing to be careful of is just to make sure you don't get it too thick that your thread breaks. But really, that's going to take a while. Um, just so you know, I am using isocord in the silky white. 
And the quilt that I'm working on in particular, the version that I'm working on for this video, is the black whole cloth. I've just basically taken one yard of black fabric, basted it, and um, marked, well I marked first, marked the design on the quilt surface, and then basted it and stitched along all of the marked lines. And so that's a really easy way to get started with this project if you're looking for something very, very simple. So in between each kind of word, as I said, we're going to break thread. And that can be a little tricky, especially kind of reaching up underneath the quilt and stuff. But it is worth it because it does look a little bit better to have each word separated. I like that. Um, you could also work along the edge of the space that we're in, you know, and kind of base the letters off of that. It's really entirely up to you. Um, there's really no wrong way of doing this. Okay, so now I'm going to start forming the A. And I just kind of stitch up and around and do kind of a short pass like that and just start building it up going back and forth. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I do this. I just want to make sure that it's really nice and dense and that the letters are roughly consistent. You know, so I'm passing through this in four or five times consistently with each letter. So that way I don't end up with, you know, a really not bold letter in a sea of very bold letters. Kind of funny. Okay, so that A looks pretty good, so I'll move over here to that M. The one thing I do have experience with is stitching both very positive and very, very negative words on quilts, and I will have to say that whatever you stitch, make sure that you want to repeat it to yourself many times. Um, so, in essence, write something positive. Um, it's really not beneficial to write negativity, um, and it really can be rather soul promoting, honestly. Um, the one quilt that I did write very negative things within it, I ended up having to destroy it because it was just too dark and too depressing. Something to keep in mind. So there's that word. And here's a trick that I learned from a student, and that is to push your quilt a little far away so you have some space uh, with the thread. And then if you have an automatic thread cutter, you want to drop your foot and then hit that, and that will break your bottom and top thread quite nicely, and you don't have to be digging underneath the quilt to do that. Now you do have to reach under there, pull on your top thread like this, and I use a needle or a seam ripper to kind of pick that bobbin thread and bring it up to the top. And you bring it up to the top just simply so it doesn't make a big mess on the back of your quilt. Okay, so now we're going to start the E. And just give you a good idea of how forming these words works. I always like to start with my needle in the down position simply... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whenever your machine makes a funny noise like that, that is a sign that there's a problem going on. So I'm going to fix that up and finish stitching through these letters. And I really hope that you will give this a try. Writing a positive, affirming message, especially on a quilt, stitching it out, I can't tell you just how powerful that is. I really hope that you'll give it a try. So my name is Leah Day, and this is a video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. Find more awesome videos learning how to quilt the Express Your Love quilt at freemotionproject.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.